The Lavender Town Syndrome, also known as Lavender Town Tone or Lavender Town Suicides, was a peak in suicides and illness of children between the ages of 7 through 12. Shortly after the release of Pokemon Red and Green in Japan, back in February 27, 1996, rumors say that these suicides and illness only occurred after the children playing the game reached Lavender Town whose theme music had extremely high frequencies that studies showed that only children and young teens could hear since their ears were more sensitive. Due to the lavender tone, at least 200 children supposedly committed suicide and many more developed illnesses and afflictions. These children who committed suicide usually did so by hanging or jumping from heights. Those who did not acted irrationally, complained of severe headaches after listening to the lavender town theme. Although Lavender Town now sounds differently depending on the game, the mass hysteria was caused by the first Pokemon game release. After the Lavender Town incident, the programmers have fixed Lavender Town's theme music to be at lower frequencies, and since children were no longer and since children were no longer affected by it. One video appeared in 2010 using a special software to analyze the audio of Lavender Town's music. When playing, the software created images of the unknown near the end of the audio. The raised, this raised controversy since the unknown Pokemon didn't appear until the Generation 2 games, Silver, Gold, and Crystal. The unknowns translated to Leave Now. There is also said to be a beta version of the Lavender Town Town. It's in... <coughs> It is said that the beta version of Pocket Monsters was released to some kids to test the game. The video of the data version. Uh, Anyways, guys, um, this was just a test. I was gonna do a little creepy pasta reading. Tell me if you guys liked it. Thanks for watching.